Pardon me? What's the price range for that? <laughs> These are really cheap RFPs, right? Um, so they're, they're still not super cheap right now. Uh, <coughs> I've actually bought some from a company called Crossbow. Uh, and devices in this class can be like 100 bucks. Uh, I mean, we're still in early days. I'm sure that you could get, uh, if, you, if you made your own custom device and created a million of them, you could probably get them down to a few bucks per device. I'm following your track. That's right. Scooping them up. <laughs> That's another solution. Uh, um, they, yeah, because things. they fell off the truck. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So the difference between these uh, full function devices can act. I so if we think of the Bluetooth analogy, reduced function devices always fulfill. I guess we need to call the slave. Uh, full function devices can be either master or slave. We don't use those terminologies in uh, 802.15.4. Um, sort of the, the the master of a Pico net. Again, that's not a, that's also not a 15.4 term, but the same kind of idea. It's called a coordinator. So these guys can be coordinators. And these guys can't. Um, another difference from Bluetooth, you can do the, the star topology, so you can have a coordinator, which is a full function device, connected to uh, a bunch of other devices in a star. Uh, and there's another topology that's all I call a peer-to-peer, -peer, which is basically like a mesh. So everyone's kind of connected to everybody else. Um, I guess that's all the material I have for today. Any questions?